Hi guys! Hi! Welcome to Meeple's People Circus and today we are continuing. Or Deep today we are playing today Deep State. Today we are playing Deep State. We're you, continuing from the setup. You saw our <laughs> You saw our setup and how to play, hopefully you did. If not, go back and watch it. Now but we will be running through it anyway. Um Yeah. So let's go with it. I am first person. I have the You have the supervisor, alone. so you have less actions available to you. So I'm going to instantly take my two agents, agents and then take an action. And then I take an action so I can play any one of these three or that, but I can't do that. Yes, do you know what? I could just go straight out. You can go straight for six points. But I'm not going to. Didn't think you would. Because I need to work out what I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing with these. You have to constantly check what you're doing. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I didn't hear a grunt or anger, so <laughs> that's a sign of I didn't take what she needed to do. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna bid you. <laughs> so you get that back. So this and does the takeover phase. So one of those agents will come back to me. So we would slide, slide that down. down. And then that Amy pass gets the all-seeing eye. So I'm going to take my two agents as my as a free action. And then I can either play here or I can do that, which I cannot do because I haven't got enough agents, so I have to have one of the first three. I wonder if someone's going to outbid her. <laughs> Is there much point in outbidding me when it's a real estate card when you have a real estate card? Was there much reason to outbid me for mass media when there's more mass media cards in the deck? Yes. No. <laughs> No. Yes. No. Anyway, take your turn. Otherwise this is going to be an extremely long video and very boring for people. Okay. So these are your return. We take an agent off of each of our objective cards. And we would slide these down to make a solid line. And the supervisor passes to you. Okay, so you took your two extras, did you? No. Right, okay. Um, let's have a thing from what I want to do here. Does she want to waste three meeples for a one point card? This is the question. Hmm, interesting. I think I might recruit one of these. Mm. So this will be my turn. You we'll take one of these. So I, I will Jay look, is not going to look right now. I, look, I can't look that way because yep, so I, can see it, I can see it on the screen. So. so if I bring that slightly more central. So this is my card. Obviously it gives you the details and what the actual power is at the bottom. I so want to look right now. <laughs> So you would play these before your turn. So obviously I can't do that right now. But so yes, that they're is. Eff they're effectively a free action. Um, there's only one card, Hitman. But you can only play one at a time unless, unless it says hit, up. Unless once. Hitman, Hitman, where you can play two. Yes. Um, so that's it. So yep. I will take that, that, and I will take one spy off of that. You take the all seeing eye. Mm. So, Jay currently has six. I'm wondering if he's going to outbid me. Okay. Let's see if he thinks it is worth more than five. Apparently, it is. 
Did I actually take anything extra for that? What? Being supervisor just then? No. No. Okay, let's take a couple of those. Oh, I think I What card is that? That's the question. Governments. Oh, yeah, I have to. Yeah. 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 So that outbids me. So I take one meeple back. You do. <laughs> so I kind of F myself in the B. Yep. Yeah. But I need to. Okay then. So supervisor is doing what? Are you having one of these or are you having two extra agents? Taking two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not allowing that. I'm going to put up five. So this will come back to me. So you can just put my equals on to make one. it. One. You need to return one. Okay. So I am going to take two of my meeples as my free action. And I am going to play my card, which is a free action right now. It's the turn code. I look at the first top, top four cards in the treaty deck, I put one into my hand and I return the rest to the deck on top in any order. So I'm just going to put that there as a discard. I will, I don't know where I'm going to look. Well, we didn't show treaty cards before, so we can show those as they turn up. Um, ooh, do you know that one? I'll yeah, read the uh, objectives and the reference card. Ooh, would that let me do that? Ooh, yeah, I like that. Do I want that one? Yeah, I want that one. So that's going into my hand, and then I'm going to put... Have you showed them? No, I have not showed them. They can find out when you find out. Oh, okay, I've been look, not looking, because <laughs> I thought you were showed. No, so I, I look like a well sad sack then. <laughs> so let's go one, two, three, like that. And that goes on the top of the deck. Um, so I still have my actions to take. I am going to Okay, so we return these. Return one from each of your ups. And since we're out of cards now, we now go into the treaty phase. So you may make a treaty. <laughs> yeah, you may. Yeah, you may. Doesn't mean you can. Well, you know. I do like the artwork on this card, this game. I, I love that it is, it's comic-y. I think if it was too photographic, it could have been taken as yeah. That's why it needs to be comic booky because otherwise it would be too close to home. So yes, I can make a treaty. Yeah, it's obvious. Yeah. This is why I needed the mass media card. Gives me four points instantly. And it allows me to reveal the top seven cards in the treaty deck. I put into my hand all treaties with communist or mass control emblems in the upper right corner, you and the rest get shuffled in. She always gets this card. Oh. You, it was you who actually got it first. It was one. No. Oh, yeah, I did. That was it. One. Oh, so that gets shuffled back in the so deck. It was bad with mine when I did it. So, we need to re refill. We do. 
So, okay, a new infiltration zone. Oh, World of War. Indeed, go to you, and you get to choose what you want to do. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to take one of these. So you can only have three persons of interest cards. Yes. Um. So. interest with this world war cards I can technically get onto one of those stages of unified nations with nothing yes I'm going to do that obviously it's still costing you a meeple whatever yeah so I'm going to do that so that'll come back to you take one meeple off of each thing and I take an extra one now because of unified nations this budges up. And it's down to me. I haven't got anything there, so obviously I'm going to take a man of interest card. Ooh, I like that one. Okay. Um, so in uh, people of interest man of interest people of interest cards, there is a card where it lets you recruit three um, spies. So you can never recruit the ghost spies, but if you have no spies left, it lets you draw another man of interest card. So it can give you something. We've got three, you can't get big me on that, so I think I'm going to take that. So I'm just putting them in a pile like this. It's not necessarily what you have to do, but it just means that I can see what's going on. So that's one, two, and an extra one for me. And I can see what symbols I've got. So it's budget. You can have the supervisor now. I think the more we play this, the more tactics we are. Yeah, we are developing more and more tactics. Definitely. It's like we outbidding each other before our first game, we just didn't even bother with that. So actually, right now, Spyware's really poo, because you have to have an extra one, don't you? You have to do, get rid of three before you can actually get rid of. Yeah. So that's actually quite poo at the second. The problem as well, you can go all in on trying to get right up to the top trying to get like three of these done at once but you will limit the but then you know. yeah then you'll get into the point where you can't do these you can't do other stuff it's my turn is it yeah let's have a covert op going on and my usual tactic is always that only go for the first one so the next one's five points. points i wondered how i could have ended up with that one yeah, it's my so tactic. one of those, one of those, and I return an extra. Let's budge this lot up. And I will have the supervisor. So it's going to have to be one of these. So in a minute for my move, we're going to have to check the rules. Yeah. Um, we'll let you go first, then we'll take a time out. How do you mean? What rule? I'm gonna you go and then I'll say. Okay. Fine. So I can either go for one of those or 
So, my go, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, we're going to take a quick time out. And I'm going to explain to Amy, then I'll explain to you guys what it is. Amy's like intrigued right now. Mm. So, yes, we'll be back. We are back. Yep. So, what I wanted to do. And what you will be doing. What I will be doing. So, I I want to take the deep stat state action while the World War cards are out. Mm -hmm. So, effectively, I only need to discard one symbol of this. But because I have agents and two agents and two, a and two agents, because I have meeples on here. But that would be the two agents from your agent pool, not from your. Yeah, board. no, no, no. Because I have two agents on there, so I'm trying to explain. Yeah. These are going to be extra, so it's effectively going to cost me four meeples to do this, or four agents to do four this. Four agents, one card. But I want to get on there while the World War's happening, because mm -hmm. it's going to cost me that little bit less. So, effectively, I am doing that. But now, mm -hmm. I get to draw two of these and play one, and as, play if one as if I had completed it. I am going to take that. Okay. Because, so... Well, I'm going to see it because it's going out as if it's done. Oh no, I was just letting it focus. Every time I put four plus meeples, agent meeples, not ghost, on an objective card, take a secondary science or mass control card. So, so that's when I take these. Objective, yeah. yeah. The so the, the, that's a really good okay. one. Right, so this will come back as part of takeover. I take one, I take one, I take an extra one for Unified Nations. And this budges up. And you get the supervisor. So that goes in there. I get my meatballs back up. Mm hmm What are you doing? <sighs> you curve that upping. So maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <coughs> she so knows me so well in this game. Okay. I am going to play Mediator card. So I can choose an objective card from the discard pile. I put as many agents to the recruitment pool as required for its infiltration, so that would be three. And I take the objective card. That's my free action. I've so lost this game again. <laughs> I, I have not won a game in this yet. I didn't win the last one, did I? No. And you were sitting there the whole Actually, yes, you did. Did I win it? But not by a lot. By two points. But not by a lot. So. Um, yep. Let's be having. I can do that cheaply at the dance minute. Or. Yeah, this is my thinking dance. Because it requires motion to get my brain in here. Um, so that's going to cost me three agents to advance, but I can bring them back quicker. So yeah, let's do that. So it's going to cost me three agents. But I am going to advance in Unified Nations. So yeah. That is it. So, so I get to bring him back effectively. Right. So next part. You're first. Yep. I'm going to take two agents out of my pool. And I cannot do that, so I have to. Since I can't afford this, I have to do one of these. So let's go with the mass media. And again, that's all I can do. I. You can pass. Well, we can't pass. Can't we can only pass, pass if, if you've got, got other actions. Hours, can I do. can't do that. I can't do that. All I can do is that. You could have recruited. 
I'm going to do that. Fair enough, so that's back. That goes there. Yeah. And that technically takes us into that. treaty. So that can go into the discard. So we will finish the treaty round. Yep. So, can you make a treaty? Just one. I think I can. Ooh. Yes. Yes, I think I can as well. I am going to take... Thule Society. So every time I level up in a stage two, three, four, or five in a project, I take a secondary science card. Okay. Every time I put agents on a finance... Do you, do you want me to yes, do that? Yes, because apparently I can't get it into focus. Yeah. So I'm playing World Court. Every time I put agents onto a finance or key connections card, I may advance in a project as a free action so long as I meet the objectives. You effectively need to cover the whole screen up with your hand. Okay. Otherwise it tries to focus on the table. Okay. We're, this is the first time we're trying to record with this camera. And I obviously do not have the hang of it. So, so yes. So we have done the treaties. We're going to fill up. Yeah. And one, one. two, three, four, five. Seven, eight. Yep, yep. So, this comes to me, and we're going to call it there. Okay, okay. For this video. Okay, okay. Um, so we'll do the last two rounds effectively in the next video. Yeah. So we will call it there. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're liking this video. We really love this game. Um, so I hope you are enjoying it too. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.